Okay, what I got is that Mustang base, and um, I have it separated. And I'm going to show you how to put the um, neck back on the body. And it's not no big deal, but if you set the screws improperly, you're going to um, make two thread grooves inside the well that's inside here, inside the wood. And you'll actually make two helical marks going down through there that begin to weaken the inside of that hole like sticking a drill bit down inside there and just tsh -tsh -tsh. so what we want to do we want to get that screw to fall in the hole and follow the same pattern that was made when the wood was first put the screws through it okay and when you get it in there you're going to find it's actually it's going to be quite easy to feed itself through So, technique is simple. All you want to do is get the pieces lined up here. And, okay. So, I have the neck now set inside the body pocket. Nice. And, um, flush. So, Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the screws right to the beginning here. And they usually just drop right through the body. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I can feel the holes inside the neck right now. So that I'm lined up with the holes inside the neck. That should do it. Okay, and then just the technique for making sure you get those... Uh, the threads lined up in their original slots. If you back it up like this and it clicks, that that tells me that the um, that first thread when it was making that ring and I backed it up, it went down to where it began its first slot and that's why it dropped down. So it should fall directly back in place and I can tell by how easy it's spinning that it did. Okay, So we're not going to finish that one. We're going to go ahead and start them all and that one just did its click thing. Let me do that again for you. Okay, right there, feel it, hear it. Okay. And it spins easy enough that I'm, I'm confident I hit the same um, gr gr groove that's inside the wood. Okay, this one's a little soft. Okay, this one's actually doing it twice, like somebody else may have been here before me. And that one's the deepest, so I'm going to go with that one. And when I say the deepest is when it um, backed up to the point where it falls, it fell the most. So I'm going to go ahead with this one, assuming that that should have been the original guide. And it's turning easily enough that uh, I'm sure we've gotten to that groove again. Same technique for this last one. Okay. And you can tell by how easily it spins. We're in there like swim more. Okay. So go ahead and then just bring them on down to um, just above snug. pattern like you might tighten a piece on an automobile like a carburetor or something okay and then it's not a whole lot of torque from here but you do want to make sure you get enough torque that you're going to hold that neck solid because if you don't then the strings are going to start to weaken your mount here so you got to make sure you get these tight enough but not too tight and uh, I don't know how many pounds it is I just got a feel for it and it's like right, yeah, that's about it right there.
and that one, okay? It's really not a whole lot of pressure, but you'll know when that starts to become to the stopping point of turning. And give it just a little bit more, not even an eighth of a turn. Okay, so that's how you want to do it when you get this to you. Thanks for watching.